Hi everyone, Danny here. This year I'm going to be doing more enduro and so on this episode I am going to compare for you and for myself UVEX Jacky Height or HDE versus uh, UVEX HLMT10. Somehow I, I, would, I would rather like to call this one HTML. Anyway, this is a full face helmet, integrated uh, downhill helmet, great protection. This is super light. A uh, full face helmet with the uh, removable chin protection and if we weren't comparing these two I wouldn't I wouldn't have all the info that I as an enduro newbie would need in order to make the right decision be between two helmets all right first off one kilogram this is 1020 grams about this is about 630 grams much lighter much heavier um, the ventilation is okay as for a full face helmet. This ventilation is amazing. This ventilation is great. And now uh, more features and differences between these two. So guys, I'm gonna first put on the HLMT10. Uh, and uh, I've told you already, this, is much, this one is much heavier than this one. Uh, this closure here is okay, it's easy to uh, to put on and it is super comfortable. So First difference I feel between these two is not even the weight. This one is heavier But this one feels way 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 more comfortable than this one uh, All the padding here inside is much thicker. There's much more of it and I am 100% sure this is much better protection so if you if you are hit or if you hit something on the side, on the back of your head, just OTB, doing OTB stuff, anything. This one gives you much, much more protection. So um, that's, that's the main difference I feel uh, right now. This strap here with this closure is very comfortable. I do like it. It feels great. Now, who is this helmet made for? This one is for everybody who is rather going down the hill that up, than up the hill. Of course, UVEX will tell you that the ventilation here is great and you can use it for enduro. You can use this one for enduro, but all the people I can see on the enduro between stages when they are going up the hill to another stage, this is how they do uphilling, right? Because it's hot, it is very hot. So don't think that you're gonna be good in this one just because it, it's, ha it has a very good um, ventilation in the description. So if you rather take a lift and go to the top of the mountain and just ride down the hill, this is the helmet for you. This is the helmet for you. Better protection, much more comfortable, but heavier and less, less ventilation, way less ventilation. Now this one. This one, this helmet feels like a standard mountain bike helmet. That's what I feel. It feels like any of the helmets I had. It is very light. It has this BOA system here and putting this one on is more comfortable uh, more more complicated because of this BOA system and it's ah, It takes time guys really it is I Would say it's not really well made for putting it on Okay now I need to take these straps over my ears. It's really like that. It, it's, it's not comfortable. Ah, ah. So I hate putting this one on. Once I have it on, I'm loving it. Let me, let me tell you why. So this uh, BOA adjustment is okay. I would rather like these straps to uh, pull upwards than uh, to the back like it i feel like this strap is pulling me in that direction which is not that comfortable it should be upwards rather so i would somehow change the the way those straps go to the to the closure here to this buckle which also has the adjustment by itself itself in itself so this is this is cool but then once i'm in it i can ride for a whole day 
in it because it is light. It is ventilated just almost as my Matt Veleno uh, cross country helmet. So it feels great. And so I'm going to be riding up the hill and then riding down the hill. This is the helmet for me. Light, great ventilation. I'm gonna feel much better in this one than this one. Um, I will also take this one to the trails when I wanna do some, some small jumping, some technique drills or so. This one is for me. The big question is though, whether you are going to use the removable chin. And I'm gonna tell you right away, I bought these two, I bought these two, but with, with the thought of having this one, not because it's got removable chin uh, protection. I didn't even feel like I needed removable chin protection, but then Uvex say that you're gonna, you're gonna go down the hill in the full face helmet and then up the hill, you're gonna do this. It's, it's pretty, pretty handy. You're gonna remove the chin protection like it's it's quite okay it's not that difficult i i don't know why, why it locked now but okay i'm just showing you how it is what happened here should be okay like this yeah yeah it's maybe the fifth fifth time i'm doing this in my life so it's it's okay this is okay removing is okay you can probably also learn to put it back without removing the helmet but then you need to somehow carry it with with you up the hill and then put it on. Why? This one doesn't give you more, like much less ventilation if you are having this on. Uh, the chin protection is longer than this one. You're gonna see that in the in the comparison from from the side. So I would just use this one all the time. But removing it and putting it up, back on. Uh, with each uphill and downhill, I don't think so. It, it's not practical, really. But let's say I'm going, you can also, uh, after removing this one, you can also uh, use these original panels in order to make it look beautiful, to hide, hide those uh, assembly holes for, for the chin protection. So let's say you are going for the single tracks, some, some simple tracks, just some tr simple trail riding. This is a trail uh, helmet right now. You don't need this one. You just leave it at home. But then you're gonna go for some serious hard lines, some serious downhilling, some just more difficult and demanding, technically demanding stuff. You just put the chin on and you use it like that. So that's my opinion on this one. So to sum up this one, I am a cross country rider. I'm not a downhill rider. I'm not even enduro rider. I'm gonna take part in some enduro races. This is the helmet for me. It is light. Uh, it won't give me that much uh, sweat during the rides. This one is for me. If you are really good, you, you have those full suspension bikes with over 100, 150 millimeters of the travel. This one is for you. This one also will be cheaper because it doesn't have this uh, removable chin protection feature. So it's cheaper, better protection, less ventilation, more weight. That's it. I think, I, I think most, of, most of the features you should know uh, I have covered here. So if you have further questions, put those in the comments. Um, I'm also curious to see other brands, other brands uh, with, these, with these helmets. I think Fox also has very light and very well ventilated helmet without removable uh, chin pr protection and i will probably compare also that one to this one that's it guys see you soon bye bye